The numbers are in after a challenging year for animal rescue. 2022 saw record numbers of strays and surrenders in the shelters across the country and right here in Utah. Best Friends Animal Society tracks the statistics nationwide. While there were some steps back, Good Day Utah news anchor John Franke looks at several areas in our state where significant progress is being made. We really celebrate every victory that we can, and last year there were a lot of victories. There is reason to celebrate inside animal care of Davis County. Described as socially conscious, the shelter recently earned no kill status from Best Friends Animal Society for its efforts in 2022, meaning 90% of animals coming into the shelter found homes. Being able to find resources and outcomes for these animals is so, so important to me, and that's what keeps me going. Ashley Young took over as the shelter's director less than two years ago. She's worked in the field for a decade and notices big changes. When I first started out, a large number of pets were being euthanized. Every day I would have to go through the kennels and write down who was going to be put to sleep that day. And it was absolutely heartbreaking. And the reason that I'm in my role and stayed in this industry is I didn't want to see that anymore. And that doesn't happen here anymore. Staff find every healthy animal a home. There's progress being made in West Valley City, too. We're getting more adoptions now. Also considered no kill. When we came here back in September, some kennels were split in half to accommodate the large number of stray dogs. The shelter population back then was more than 300. Now it's 217. So what's causing some of this success? It's the tireless work of employees and volunteers and the community that refuses to give up on animals like pets. I'm not saying the struggles aren't hard. This staff is amazing. They just jump in and help wherever needed. Unfortunately, this isn't the story everywhere. Data compiled by Best Friend shows nationally the save rate dropped from 83.5% in 2021 to 81.4% in 2022. And in Utah, the number of animals that could not be saved more than doubled from about 800 in 2021 to 1,700 in 2022. Overall, a step backward, but far from a reason for those in animal welfare to give up the fight. Uh, about 10 years ago, the number was about 7,000. So we are making a lot of progress, and every time you, you make a lot of progress really quick, sometimes you, you backslide a little bit. Mugging for the camera. Best Friends is working to get the entire country to the no-kill level by 2025. Right now, 46 of Utah's 60 shelters are considered no-kill, with Davis County the newest addition on the list. We are so excited um, as an organization and as a county. Shelters like Davis and West Valley City, examples of what can happen when communities don't give up. This has really taken every single citizen in Davis County rallying for our animals. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.